Owners, ship owners, either might have a single vessel or a whole fleet of ships. They may be controlled by their state, or perhaps they might be private companies. They might fly the national flag, or possibly a flag of convenience, also called a flag of compliance, because you comply with certain taxation regulations. So that would be cheaper flagging in tax-friendly places, such as the two big ones, Panama and Liberia. But the Marshall Islands is a very close third. And then places like uh, British Virgin Islands and Bermuda and Vanuatu and Fiji and Malta and Cyprus for the German owners. And these are cheaper options, cheaper taxation for ship owners. So they are the flag of compliance or sometimes known as the flag of convenience. It used to be that any ship flying a flag of convenience would automatically, that would mean rubbish owner, horribly paid crew. Or rather, very good crew, but horribly paid. Uh, nowadays, those, day, those, those days have gone. It's really now only a question of cheap taxation, which means cheap operating cost. And most ship owners do not fly their national flag. So for example, the very proud Greeks, Greek owners. 18%. Some do still I insist. Ago in the BBC. Did you? Okay. And quite a few have now switched to the Maltese flag. Most German ship owners do not fly the German flag. It's too expensive. Most of them are registered in, where well, their ships are registered in Cyprus. Many British ship owners do not fly the Red Ensign. They do not fly the British flag. They're registered in the Isle of Man or the Scilly Islands or perhaps British Virgin Islands, BVI. There might be owners who are called bare boat owners, and this is the only time that we use the word boat in commercial shipping. Ships are called ships or vessels. They're not called boats. Boats are used for pleasure, such as rowing, sailing, or fishing. Except here, when we're talking about a naked vessel, literally the bare boat, just the hull and the machinery, nothing else. And the owners of such a vessel would probably usually be a bank or a finance house who have taken on the burden of the ownership of such a vessel, but they have no idea what to do with such a vessel because they're bankers, they're not ship owners and operators. So why would they have such a vessel? Probably because one of their clients has not paid the mortgage. Rather like if you don't pay the mortgage on your house, the bank takes the house back. Mm. Same idea, they would foreclose. But then they would say, oh, we have this large beast which is worth millions and millions of dollars. What do we do? So they would then lease out that vessel on a finance leasing arrangement to a ship operator who would manage the vessel or vessels on behalf of the true owners being the banks. So the banks would remain the beneficial owners because they benefit from owning. And the bare boat charterers would take on the responsibility of managing and crewing and operating that vessel. And that's called bare boat. Also sometimes known as demise charter, D-E-M-I-S-E.